Okay, so in our last video, we were trying to find a formula for this exponential function given to us in this table of values. And we tried putting these values into list one and list two in our calculator, just like we did before. And yet, for some reason, it didn't work this time. We got an error. I suspect that has something to do with some of these negative signs that I've got in my data points. However, since we can't use our calculator to find the formula for this exponential function, we're going to have to use a different method. And so the method that we're going to use is something called the ratio method. And basically, this is just a way of calculating by hand using simultaneous equations the values that we need for our formula. So remember that what we're trying to come up with is a formula for an equation in this form. We know it's an exponential function because we're told that at the beginning of the problem. So we know it has this form y equals a times b to the x. And since a and b are our parameters, we just need to figure out what are the values of a and b. And once we know what a and b are, then we'll have our formula. So the ratio method goes like this. From your data set, you pick two points. Well, since I've only got two points here, this point and this point, then it's easy for me to pick two points. My two points are going to be 3, negative 0.375, and negative 2, negative 12. OK, so those are my two points. Plug the points into y equals a times b to the x to get two equations. OK, so let's see. Put equation number one right here, y negative 0.375 equals a times b to the power of x. x is 3 for this set of point, for this set of coordinates. So there's my first equation. My second equation, y, it's negative 12, equals a times b to the power of negative 2. OK, so I plugged my two points into y equals a times b to the x, and I got my two equations. Step number three, set up a ratio and put the higher exponent on top. Okay, what this means is I'm going to take these two equations and I'm going to set up a ratio using these two equations. Specifically, if you want to think of just kind of drawing a fraction line in between your two equations, then what that's going to give you is a ratio that looks like this. Negative 0.375 over negative 12 equals a times b to the third over a times b to the negative 2. Now notice it says put the higher exponent on top. It's talking about the exponent of the b parameter. So I want b to the third, since 3 is higher than negative 2, I want this particular equation on top. That's not absolutely essential. It just kind of makes the math a little, makes the arithmetic a little bit easier. So OK, set up a ratio, put the higher exponent on top. Step four, solve for b. OK, well, one of the things I notice here about my ratio, I want to solve this ratio for b. Notice that right away my a's cancel out, which is a good thing because otherwise I'd have two variables. So my a's cancel out. Now I only have one variable. So negative 0.375 divided by negative 12. And if I punch that in my calculator, I get 0.03125. B to the third divided by B to the negative 2, that's going to give me B to the power of 3 minus negative 2. 3 minus negative 2 is 5. So now I just have an equation here, 0.03125 equals B to the fifth power. And to solve this for B, I need to take the fifth root of both sides of my equation. If I take the fifth root of B to the fifth power, that's going to give me B. And if I take my calculator and I punch in the fifth root of 0.03125, that gives me 0.5. So now I have just solved for my value for B. I know that B in my exponential function, uh, in the form of my exponential function, B is equal to 0.5. So I've got my value for B. Step 5 says substitute the value for b into one of your equations and solve for a. OK, so I've got my value for b. Now I want to figure out what my value for a is. Substitute the value for b into one of your equations. It turns out it doesn't matter which one of my two equations I choose 
to put in my value for B. I can choose either one. I'm going to choose this first one just because it doesn't have a negative exponent, so I suspect that's probably going to be easier to solve. So I'm going to use equation number one here, negative 0.375 equals A times, let me just go ahead and write the thing out, A times B to the third power. Well, I want to substitute this value for B into this equation. So negative 0.375 equals A times 0.5 to the third power. So I'm substituting 0.5 in here for B. 0.5 to the third power is 0.5 to the third power is 0.125, so that gives me A times 0.125. Now, since I'm trying to solve this for A, I just want to divide both sides of my equation by 0.125, and that's going to cancel out 0.125 on this side, and negative 0.375 divided by 0.125 gives me A equals negative 3. So now I have a value for A, I have a value for B, I can take both of these values, both of my parameters, and plug them into the form of my equation, and I have my equation. So I take both of these values and I plug them into Y equals A times B to the X, A is negative 3, B is 0.5, to the power of x, and there is the formula for this exponential function.